Now, we, before we send this over to Keyshot, there's a few things we need to discuss. So let's go over here to the Render tab. I'm going to drag this over to the side docking, and we're going to open up Render Property. Oop, sorry, External Renderer. Uh, this is what we're going to tell ZBrush. If you turn this Keyshot button off and you hit BPR, it's going to render out a BPR render with all the shading and the shadows and stuff like that. If you turn Keyshot on, these things are going to become ungrayed, and this is where you're going to tell Keyshot or ZBrush when you hit BPR, send these, send these meshes over to Keyshot. Now, as is, what it's going to do is this matcap gray that's assigned to our meshes is going to be sent over to Keyshot, as well as these three separate meshes, which are three separate subtools. If you read down through here, there's a couple different options in here. Here's the max faces per entry, and just like anything else in ZBrush, if you hover over an area, it'll tell you what it is, and if you hold down Control, it'll give you more information, so you kind of have a built-in help menu. Basically, what the max faces is, is how many maximum polygons can be sent over to Keyshot before it has to split it up. Right now, it's set to 25, so I can send over 25 million polygons over to Keyshot without it having to split it up. If I had a subtool, which would be kind of extreme, but if you say you had a 50 million polygon mesh and you wanted to send it over to Keyshot and it was all in one subtool. Now, again, this is subtool specific, so it's max faces per subtool. So I could have 25 million for this one, 25 million for this one, 25 million for this one. Right now, when I hover over this, you're going to see I have 121,000, which for ZBrush is almost nothing. Same thing for Keyshot. Keyshot can handle these no problem. However, if you had 25 million, 25 million, and 50 million for one, what it's going to do is split that into two separate objects to get it over into Keyshot. And then you're going to see this auto merge option. What this does, is auto merge these back. If you hold on control, you're going to see if you had to be split up here, let's say you had a 50 million polygon mesh and it had to split it into two in order to get over to Keyshot, this would auto merge it once it got back into Keyshot. So you could probably just leave all this stuff on. And realistically, you're probably not going to have to deal with this too much. Here you're going to see you can turn on the option to group by materials. So what you could do in this case is, let's say this Ryzen object right here, we have matte gray. It's not technically assigned to it, but it is applied to the polygons even though we haven't done a color fill object with M turned on. This is where you would sign your material. So if I wanted to, I could assign like reflect red to, let's go ahead and go into solo mode here. We can go to color, fill object. That's going to assign that reflect red material to here. Now if I want to grab these two here, grab a different material, do reflect orange, and then do color fill object. So now I have reflect red, reflect orange. Then I'll go out of solo mode. What it would basically do is, it would send this over to Keyshot as one object, send this over to Keyshot as one object, send this object over to Keyshot as two object because we have one material assigned to this part and one material assigned to this part. So that's just another way to organize your meshes. Realist realistically though, when I'm going from ZBrush to Keyshot, what I tend to do is just keep it organized with my subtools over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep group my materials off. And you can also send over the background document color that you're working with. That's over here in your document settings. If you want to change this background document, you just click and drag out and just select another color. But for now, I'm just going to leave both of those off. I'm also going to hold down Shift. Oh, you don't have to hold down the Shift in this case. But if you had a bunch of these colorized, turn on these paintbrushes here, you can hold down Shift and click one. That'll turn them all off. And then we'll go back here to matcap gray, and we can send these over. Uh, you know, just to demonstrate, let's go ahead and take this Ryzen mesh here. We'll go back to I reflect red here, and then we'll just go ahead and do a color fill object with M turned on. So we will have a couple different, uh, then we'll go back out here to matcap gray. So what's good, what it should do is send this and this over with matcap gray assigned, and then this over with reflect red assigned. So let's go ahead and again, make sure render key shot is turned on, hit BPR, and that's going to send it over to key shot. 